Hi everybody, this is FT Raw with a new video tutorial about Cinema 4D and the Drive Simulation plugin. Um, today I want to show you how you can set up a car to make crashes. As you can see here in the movie, we'll get nice car deformations with shatterings and splitterings. We have a crash test dummy and an airbag. So, we want to get a realistically looking crash test scene. Okay, let's start. First, we have to create a simulation object. These steps are always the same for every car setup. And create a vehicle. For now, we disable this option because I wanted to show you this collision feature in a separate part. So let's create a vehicle. As you can see, standard vehicle is created that is already ready to drive. Um, you can see here some container objects for the wheels, for the body, for the engine and some handles to adjust sizes and so on. So the next step is to adjust these container objects to our model, the beautiful S-Class. And now the basic setup is done. Okay, let's make a first test to see the car drive. I will create the root object. The root object is just a normal spline that is fitted with a drive tag. And there you can add speed points and place it along the spline to control the speed you can add more points so some more frames here okay the car drives this is okay i will delete it from now so let's make uh, some additional settings to the engine and to the suspension and so on. Mm, let's start with the dynamics page. You have already seen the weight. Uh, in the aerodynamics section you can set the drag coefficient and we find some data here on the Mercedes-Benz website. This CV wert point twenty seven. It's a bit less than here the default. So the brake torque. It's difficult to find their values. I can say the brake torque is the opposite of the engine torque. And uh, normally a car will brake uh, faster than accelerate, so these values are in normal cases okay. You can check it if you make a brake test. Uh, for example, let the car drive 100 kph and make a full brake and then you can check the length of the braking uh, distance and you can find values about 30 40 meters in the internet and you can compare it and maybe you have to set the value a bit the powertrain it's a bit easier to find values um here we have 700 Newton meters between 
3,800 and 3,500. You can set this value here as a maximum torque. And you can set these values to values I mentioned. You can delete this point. And set this to 3500. Let's come to the gear ratio. You find these values here. 438. Oh, it's already done. So we have a 7 gear engine. Let's Increase this number and set the value to seven through value. Okay, these values looks good. The automatic uh, gearbox will shift up and down at these values here, and since the uh, power is between these values. The shifting should be in this within this range. So we shift up at three thousand five hundred and shift down at thousand eight hundred. Okay. Driving aids, you can set, for a modern car, you can set uh, ABS, anti-lock brake system, or the traction control, it's, uh, it's comparable to EPS. Okay, if you set these values, uh, it's, it will be very difficult to make uh, the car uh, slide, and so we leave it as it is. On the chassis panel, you can make the settings of the suspension. Um, high values for spring rate and damper rate make the car suspension harder and lower values make it softer. So uh, the default values are rather soft. So it's a modern car and so I think we make it a bit higher. You can see front and rear are done simultaneously. This is because we have still set this front rear symmetry in the general tab. If you want to edit individually, you have to disable this. Okay. Um, you can say for old cars, uh, 70 muscle cars or something, you will set these values a bit lower. And for race cars, modern race cars, you set it higher. And you have to try it because it uh, it's hardly to find uh, values on the internet or other places. The anti-roll bar does what its name said. Higher values prevent the car from rolling. Race cars have these values very high. And if you want to simulate uh, Ford Mustang of the 60s or 70s, you set this value a bit low. Um, so we set it a bit higher because modern cars don't roll much. Okay. Gamba is also a setting for race cars. You can see it in this front view. If you increase this value, the wheels are, as you can see it, uh, in Formula One cars or also in uh, touring cars. But a normal street car will have this value zero. Um, the steering lock is the maximum 
steering angel and the maximum steering rate defines how fast the steering can be done if you want to simulate a race driver uh, a race driver will steer very fast it's a sportsman but a normal person will uh, steer very uh, a bit slower so you can decrease these values or maybe you can set it here to a normal value because an S class is not driven by a race driver in normal cases as you can see here uh, are some suspension object also in the wheels wheel objects and let me show you what this is for make this invisible okay you see this is the spring range and you can adjust can uh, define here the spring range maybe you'll find some pictures where you can see it on the IMG's website you can see here are some pictures you can see how long these uh, springs are and maybe you find better pictures um, this object is this one if you want to have visible springs you place the springs here inside of these objects you can use uh, the appropriate function of drive and the uh, output you see here is a chassis tab and you can create so some springs these springs are just for a visual representation you will find here these uh, sweep objects and you can adjust the values when the suspension works you see that they are compressed. Okay, this is a basic setup for for a normal car. You can use this car now for any purpose. And in the next part, I show you the setup for the crash.